Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm back with the results from the last video I made. Um, I read all the comments, and in a nutshell, I must be pretty much average because the average miles walked was between 5 and 10, and the average calories burned by most people's estimate was around 3,000, 3,500. 3, some a little more, some a little less, but it averaged around 3,500. And the miles averaged around, you know, 8 miles, 10 miles. And that's about what I do in a day. So, uh, contrary to some of the things I've read about 6,000 calories and all this stuff, uh, for most people, it's between 8 and 10 miles a day, sometimes uh, a lot of people is only five miles a day, and about 3,500 calories a day, which would uh, should help you some on your packing. If you try to pack 6,000 calories, it's not going to be not going to be real. Uh, okay, next I'm going to talk about water filters. Now, <clears throat> everybody's got their idea on water filters, so this is not carved in granite or anything. I'm just going to tell you what I think. And that and 50 cents will get you a lukewarm cup of coffee. But anyway, okay, I've been looking at the SteraPen and, and the MSR MyOx, MIOX. Anyway, you know the two I'm talking about. Now, I want before I forget it, I want to talk about the MIOX, MyOx. Now, what that does is, first off, it has to have batteries. Uh, they probably make one with a solar panel in it. I don't know. I didn't look everywhere, but uh, I know the SteraPen's getting pretty exotic. Anyway, you got to have batteries, and, and I don't think that's a problem because I think the batteries last, especially if you use like silver oxide batteries, the batteries last just about forever. You put some water in it with some salt, and what it does is it zaps the salt water, which is a really good conductor of electricity, and creates uh, ozone, I believe. They call it an antioxidant uh, brine. Okay, and you put that in the water, and it kills everything in the water virtually everything. But what they don't say in big print is that if you wanted to kill cryptosporidium, and I do, it takes four hours. So you have to put that in the water and wait four hours. And, and that's not a well-known fact. They've kind of kept that off to the side. It's really, uh, as far as the time to, to get it to work, is very almost exactly the same as uh, iodine pills. Uh, takes about four hours to treat the water and get, you know, everything, the protozoa and everything else. But the cryptosporidium is four hours, so I don't know about you, but when I want water, ideally I want water right now. I want it to taste good, I want it to be absolutely positively clean, and I want a lot of it, and I want it right now. Uh, and four hours? I don't think so. If I'm really thirsty, I'm going to end up drinking the water before it's treated because when you're thirsty you just have to drink or you're going to get dehydrated. So that for me personally is out of the question. Now the SteraPen uh, once again takes batteries and, and I don't think that's a big problem and in fact I believe they make a rig that has a generator built right into it and you just put your bottle on it and just crank, crank it to generate electricity pretty unique and it'll stir the water in a bottle and hit it with ultraviolet light which kills virtually everything and uh, that that's a pretty cool way to do it but here's the problem I run into with that the water has to be clean if it's got any particulates in it you have to filter them out now this rig that uh, you crank I'm not sure how it works, but it has a pre-filter with it to take the particulates out of the water before you use the SteraPen. And uh, the SteraPen, I think it only takes like 48 seconds or something like that of continuous uh, ultraviolet to kill virtually everything. So it's better than the Myox, uh, but you still got to filter the water before you do it because if there's particles it doesn't get inside, it can't, the light can't travel into the particles and you still could uh, get in trouble if you had any particulates in your in your water. So here's my thought on it. Uh, if I've got to filter the water before I hit it with a stair pin and I also have to filter the water before the Myox, either one, I don't want frogs eggs and and all kinds of 
junk in my water. I want it filtered. And water can generally have quite, a, quite often have particulates in it and will make it taste bad. And I just don't like drinking stuff with lumps in it. You know what I mean? So what I do is, and this is by, by all means not the ideal way to go, I use a hyperflow, MSR hyperflow. Uh, this filters the water down to 0 0.2 microns. Takes out virtually everything. No, it won't take out viruses, but viruses are way down on my list of things to worry about. Cryptosporidium, protozoa, things like that. Those are the things I want to take out. And other than viruses, which almost nothing takes care of. I think the myox will kill viruses, but I don't think anything else will. And I don't think, in my opinion, that's not a big problem. Uh, I use the Hyperflow. It, uh, it's very fast. It, it's really fast. You can pump water, you know, really fast with it. It's as fast as the old uh, pleated paper filter uh, water filters, which were pretty fast, but they also got dirty really quick, too. Now, the drawback to this, uh, this filter is it plugs up fairly easy. Uh, it's better than it used to be, but it comes with a really good pre-filter, and if you're paying attention, uh, the pre-filter will plug up before this does. And even if it does plug up, ace the hole, I carry a spare filter, just screws right in. It's no big deal. It's a really nice filter, but if I was going to find anything wrong with it, it plugs up faster than other filters. So you have to pay attention and use your pre-filter and be careful that you don't get into silt. It'll do pretty good in like a pond with frog's eggs and stuff like that because the pre-filter will take it out. But if you get in somewhere where the water is really uh, muddy, like a mud puddle type thing, where it's really fine, it will plug it out. So it's not perfect either. Now, uh, the old pleated water filters that were just a cartridge with a plastic weave around it, and then it's just pleated paper material, those were really good. They, it took quite a bit to plug them up, and uh, they would have a high volume, but... Uh, they were fairly expensive to change the filter on, the, and the filter wasn't cleanable. So once it plugged up, you were done. This you can back flush. If you plug one of these filters up, uh, it takes a little work, but if you flip things around in here and follow the directions, you can back flush it. There's a little bit of a trick to it. You have to do it very slow, or you'll cativate and pull air in, and it won't work. But you can do it. You can bet this has been back flush, and it's fine now. Uh, not something I really want to do out on the trail. That's why I carry two filters, but it can be back flush. The paper filters, the Pure and all those that took the paper filters, those aren't really cleanable. Once those are dirty, that's pretty much it. And people say they clean them, but it would be an awful good chance to punch a hole in one. And if it has a hole in it, it's no good anymore. Now, on the other hand, the ceramic filters, like the uh, MSR Mini Works, uh, those are cleanable. If you plug those up, you can just take the cartridge out and it comes with an abrasive thing and you just scrub the outside of the cartridge, put it right back in, it's ceramic. But on the downside, they're very slow to pump water. You don't get a lot of water per pump. They're very slow, uh, painfully so. You can, if things aren't just right, you can spend five minutes pumping one liter of water. But if you've got the time and you want something that's absolutely foolproof, I would go with a ceramic filter. Yes, they're slow, but if they plug up, you can clean them, and they filter out everything except viruses. Uh, next step up would be the Hyperflow, which is, is much faster, uh, but will plug up. But it can be back flush. And then third, I'd go with a paper filter because that's really fast, and it'll take a lot of dirt, but when it's plugged up, it's done. If you plug one of those up, it's over. Uh, then I think I'd go to the uh, Myox and Steripen, which eh, I'm not real big on. I think I'm going to stay with my Hyperflow. It weighs almost nothing and works really great. just takes a little bit of, of uh, care to make sure you don't get murky water with it. So I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and that's my two sets. If you want to leave a comment on what you think about these filters, go ahead and we'll kick that around later. I'm kind of curious what everybody else uses and what they think. Bye-bye.